Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel, Adult Fan of Lego UK. Indeed this is a brand new channel, this is my first ever video, my first ever review. Um, I'm hoping, straight planning to do a number of these for the foreseeable future. Um, I'm an adult fan of Lego. Um, I predominantly collect Star Wars, both new and old sets. Um, so I'm hoping to do a combination of reviewing new sets that come out and also I'll be doing some um, older reviews of some of my um, collection I already have and, and as and when I add to that collection also. Not just Star Wars, I will review other sets as well. Um, I have two young boys, um, the oldest of those is five, so he's really starting to get into Lego at the moment, so as and when he gets sets as well, I hope to be able to review those too. So, straight into this, um, today as you can see I'm going to be reviewing, as part of the new Star Wars 2013 summer theme, set 75019, the ATTE, um, ages 9 to 14, this has got 794 pieces um, and five minifigures, um, all of the minifigures being new to the Star, Ro Star Wars um, range or improvements. Some of them may not be new but they've been um, obviously improved on previous versions. So what we can see here is the box. There's the front of the box. Let's spin around and show you guys the back. You can see on there, the back demonstrates some of the functions which are many on this set. Box side, a sturdy box actually. The only thing I wasn't keen on is the way you have to open these and know, which is having to tear that bit there, which actually tore the box of me, which I'm not keen on, but the box is actually a really sturdy and strong box. Okay, before I move into the actual set review, it comes with two instruction manuals. You can see there. Number one and number two. Okay. Right, first thing I want to say about this set actually before I go into the actual review is this is an absolutely fantastic set in my opinion. Really, really pleased with it. I bought this um, Saturday just gone. I think that was the day this new range came out uh, from my local store in Blue Water here in the UK. Um, I built it that evening. Um, and yeah, I've been really, really impressed with it. So I'm just going to move on to the minifigures. So the first minifigure is the Elite, sorry, the Battle Droid Commander. You see there, the Commander actually got some good yellow markings on the top of his head and also the yellow dot on his torso. Comes with kind of your standard blaster pistol. Not a lot to really say about that. It's a droid, droid commander, but really good colour. I like this this colour um, and this 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 new droid. Okay, next up is just your standard battle droid. So pretty much the same as the other one, but without the yellow markings. Right. Again, really nice colour in these new droids. Okay, next up we have Mace Windu. You see there, he's got some really good printing actually on his torso and on his legs. Comes with a purple lightsaber. sided face but yeah really good printing it's mace window next up we have Coleman tree ball I probably pronounced that wrong so I'm sure I'll be corrected again really good minifigure some really good detail good printing um, comes with the green lightsaber Get that out of the way into his torso and some print into the legs. Also some back printing. Obviously the standout feature on this guy is his head. Some really good detail on his head. Really good minifigure, really pleased with this one. And he's got kind of a, a 
rubber. Let me see, hopefully, moving there, kind of a rubber texture to his head. Okay, final minifigure is the actual clone troop commander. Again, really good minifigure. Some really good details on this one. I love the yellow on this guy. His helmet, his arms. You can see the dots on his chest there, representing that he's the commander, the clone commander. Comes with a rifle. I'll just show you that. Back to this guy, some good printing on the front. That's the rear of his torso. Take his helmet off. And you kind of the stand clone head and again, single sided only. So that's the minifigures. Okay, so into the actual set itself. Let's move that out of the way. First thing actually is this here. It's a really good lever, which you can pick this up with and move them around. Um, and again, the things I want to say about this, this is a really strong, sturdy set that you can really, really throw around actually. Although this is ages nine to 14, um, which I tend to agree with from a build point of view, um, the actual playability on it, uh, my son who's five, um, he had a little bit of a play with this, um, certainly five um, and upwards. You know, this is a really, really, really um, good set with lots of functions on it, which I'm gonna obviously take you guys through. So, first thing, so I'm gonna go from the front, about the top. First thing on this, we've got this turret. Cannon on top, which goes all the way around, 360. You can see up and down. Really great space in there to sit in minifigure. These here are flick fire missiles. I'm not gonna flick it off because I'll lose it, but you see there, standard flick fire missile. And red. Right, actually, and underneath this, this lifts up. What well, we can actually see here are some more flick fire missiles. Which is quite a nice little addition there. Some yellow ones and some blue ones as well. And they just slide in on these sliders here into there. Just like that. And that closes down quite nicely. Right in here, the front of the set is where your actual commander sits and that just slides out and you see there is a little seat and he's got two controls so I'm going to get our commander let's put his helmet back on just put him in his seat like so and he will just slide hopefully I've got to raise his arms up and he will slide back into there so there we now have our commander ready to control the ATTE. You can see there, you see him in the side, see him in the front. So, so that moves all these here and here, move around. You can see the legs all move around. And again, that really, really sturdy set. These all adjust as well that's mainly just so you can get into the set you could just come off you could put other minifigures in there at push um, but it's not really designed um, for that uh, this is just mainly uh, so that you can move pieces around and kind of get in there okay back on Um, right, moving around to the rear. Let's see here at the back, you got some steps. Obviously, they're going to be leading somewhere. So 
So where they actually lead is into the back of this. So sorry, you've got some more obviously cannons on the back there. Again, they all move round. This lifts up like so. I'm just going to move these out. Just give us a bit more review in there. Um, yeah, so in the back area is where you can put some minifigures. Um, this here is like a little chest. You can see, and inside it, which I'm not entirely sure what they are, you've got these little discs here which are actually printed. There's two of those. Well, in fact, there was three. Um, there was a spare that came with it, but there's only actually two as part of the set as per the instructions. So they go in there. I'm going to put that back in there. Okay, and what I do, what I do to my set, is actually stand my drawers up there because I use this for display purposes in a collector. So I put my two battle droids in there, and we've actually got some little clips for all weapons in here. There. And that one there. The only one thing that I did find was the clone commander's rifle. There was nowhere really to put that, so I just slide it in the back of there with those guys. Um, yeah, some really good detail. You've got some stickers in here. Bring that up here. So you can see. Stickers there and there. There's a number of stickers on this set which I'll show you in a second. Let's just take this back it down, push back in. I should yeah, there we go back in place. So we have sticker, 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 uh, sticker at the top here, another sticker there. Um, those two stickers in the back, and I think that's pretty much it. So, we've now got three minifigures in there, the droids and the commander, and what I do for my display is have, I'm not going to put their sabers back on, I'm conscious, but I kind of have these two just um, next to the ATTE, so pretty much depicting the scene, really. <laughs> And those guys running against it. So I think that's pretty much it. I'll give you a couple more. I'll show you these are some stickers there as well. These long ones here. And you can see some of the, the detail on this set. Like I said, really good set. Really, really pleased. I think Lego done a great job. It's just so sturdy. Really impressed actually with how strong this set is. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, but I hope that's given you guys a good idea. Um, so like I said, I got this in the UK, price was £79.99. pence. Um, I think it's pretty good value for money, um, for some really good playability. It's going to look excellent um, with the rest of my um, display. So yeah, really, really pleased with it. Um, hope you like this video. I welcome any comments and feedback. Obviously, this is my first ever video. So I'm sure I've got a lot to learn and a lot to improve on, but I hope you've given you guys a good insight into this particular set. Um, I hope you subscribe to my channel. I'm obviously going to need to get some subscribers on board. And I hope you like this video and give it that thumbs up. Catch you soon. Thanks. Bye.